sight of God in the presence of friends and family to join together Hunter King and Carly Douglas. Carly Wright Douglas, we have both waited for this day for a long time to find someone who completes us. I see all the qualities in, in you that complete me and that make me a better man, but the most important qualities that I see in you are those of how Proverbs 31 describes the wife of noble character. Carly, I vow to lead our family with you by my side. I vow to be there for you as the best that I can, to be the ears that will listen, to be the shoulder for you to cry on. I vow to love God first because without doing that, I could not love you the way he intended me to. Proverbs 31 starts off with the question, a wife of noble character, who can find? Well, I've certainly found you. I love you. What we do for the ones we love I'm writing this, I'm overwhelmed at the fact that I'll be reading this to my husband very soon. Sometimes it still doesn't feel real to say that. God really does answer prayers. Oh, the amount of times that I cried out to him in prayer, desperate for a husband and someone to hold tight. Hunter, you are that rock. You point me back to my Savior, Jesus. You comfort me and you love me with a love I never thought was possible. You really are the verse in 1 Corinthians 13. You are so patient, so kind. You don't ever boast and are never proud. You don't dishonor others and you are not self-seeking. You are easily angered and keep no records of wrong. Hunter King, you protect, trust, hope, and you always persevere. You are my better half and I love you with all my heart. How lucky I am to marry you and become your wife. For as much as Hunter and Carly have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and this company and have given the pledge of their faith to each other and have declared the same by the giving and the receiving of rings and joining of hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. What we do. 